Hello YouTube. In the last video, we talked about sub scenes. Next thing that we would like to do is to create a cool moving effect. For example, let's say that we are clicking credits button. I would like to have a corresponding sub scene appear from the right edge of our window. This can be done using translate transition class. This class creates a move animation that spans its duration. Now I will show you how to use it. This, we won't need this anymore. So first let's change our sub scene class a little bit. We would like to create each sub scene beyond our main menu view. So the starting coordinates should be like this. Now we will create a method in which we will write a logic to move our sub scenes. We have to create a translate transition object. Now we have to define a duration of our move. This method decides which element should be moved. This method defines how a particular element will change its position on x-axis. Everything is ready, now we can call our transition. Let's create a credit subscene. Now we want to create a method in which we will initialize our sub scenes. Okay, now let's connect this credits sub scene with our credits button. When we are clicking credits button, 
we want our subscene to be moved. Let's check if it works. Okay, it does not work, but why? <laughs> it is because we didn't add this subscene to our main pain children list. Now it works, but as you can see, after clicking this button once, our subscene shows up and nothing more happens. We would like to implement a logic which will make this subscene to hide after hitting the button again. So let's do it. We have to create a field which will tell us if the subscene is hidden. If our subscene is hidden, we want it to show up. And if it's shown, we want it to hide. Let's check if it works. Okay, as you can see, everything works properly. Thank you for today and see you in the next video.